Alright, <laughs> much brew about nothing time. Playing some mono black curse control in standard. And no curses, but we got some removal, got some discard, got some cycling land, so I guess this is pretty reasonable. And let's just harsh scrutiny here on turn one. See what our opponent's up to. Uh, alright. Looks like a constrictor deck. Ooh, alright. There's a curse. That's good news. We'll take the Servant since it's our opponent's only real card. We don't really have creatures, so their Grasp of Darknesses are not going to be great. Alright, we're going to play one Desert of the Glorified. While cycling would be nice, I think it's more important to make sure we have... Ooh, man. Alright, let's lay Bear the Heart. Taking a Grasp doesn't feel good, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Grasp City over there. Okay. Well, we get down Torment of Scarabs next turn with two removal spells and a Doomfall that can answer essentially anything. There's a Grasp. Well, we have creatures super covered. Uh, curse number one, Torment of Scarabs. Pass the turn. <laughs> start the long, slow process. I assume our opponent's probably just going to start discarding Grasps. Seems like the most reasonable thing to do. Yeah, there goes a Grasp. Opponent's passing. We'd love another Curse. Um, well, we might as well. We're probably just taking a Grasp, but now that we... Oh, hmm. Interesting. I don't think we care about Noxious Gear Hulk. I guess we just take Harness Lightning, since it makes energy, and that could be relevant. Past the turn, probably just cycle the desert. Opponent's down to 17. There's a Lumbering Falls. Yeah, let's just cycle. Ooh, there it is. There's the second Torment. That's what we were looking for. Double Torment is much more powerful than just one. It actually starts to add up pretty quickly with <laughs> with two torments going. 14, 11. We do have to not die to Lumbering Falls, which is hexproof, and we don't really have blockers for. Next turn, if our opponent doesn't play something, we'll Doomfall. Is this Noxious Gearhulk with Mistapping, I believe? Oh, Nissa. Hmm. Okay, we don't actually have an answer for Nissa at the moment. We wouldn't mind drawing one. We can kill lands if our opponent goes to ultimate. Opponent's passing. Another grasp. Let's get rid of Noxious Gear Hulk. Pass the turn. All right. Well, I mean, we kind of have our opponent pretty well locked. They might actually have to. All right. They get a uh, Rogue Refiner was a good one. That actually draws our opponent a card. Now they have two cards in hand again. Hmm. We gotta get rid of this Nissa. Opponent plays the land. Interesting. Well, Grass Bro Refiner. Play a Swamp. Pass the turn. Two triggers. First one. Down to five. Next one. Discards a second Nissa. Well, our opponent can't keep paying life. They're down to five, so they can't just keep paying life over and over. Scries with Nyssa. They really need, like, a Rogue Refiner or something to not just die. We might actually have this. We're close, at the very least. Opponent's passing. All right, pass the turn. Yahani's expertise is not a great draw. So our opponent, I assume they discard their card... And drop to two. Fatal push down. Down to two. Just to land? Oh. Well, this should... Oh, it's a rogue refiner. No, we'll kill it right now. I think this is going to force our opponent to sack Nyssa. Which is where we want to be. Once we get rid of Nyssa, then I feel pretty good about where we're at. Ooh. Oh, well, alright. That's good, too. Does this just win us the game? Harness lightning down... I think this should do it. Our opponent has to sack Nyssa, and they still take two? <laughs> Curse control! Uh, yeah? <laughs> I can't believe that worked as well as it did, but it worked amazingly well. Uh, now, the question is, is this where we, we do the flip-flop? 
take out all the curses and bring in all the creatures? That's the question. Our opponent's probably going to bring in answers to our curses, go down the janky stuff, go up Dream Stealers and Ammon Eternals, trust that our opponent doesn't have removal for them. That's the question. Or do we run it like this one more time? Is this a matchup where our curses are good enough on their own? What would we go down? We'd go down walls. We'd go down all the curses that our opponent's probably going to maybe bring in answers for. Go down some of the removal. Trespasser's Curse isn't great in this matchup. Something like that. And then go up four Gifted Aetherborns. Ammon Eternals. Dream Stealers. Gontis. That means we need to cut two more cards. I guess maybe just like a couple lay bare the hearts. Let's try it. Let's try the transformational sideboard plan. That's one of my favorite parts about this deck is the transformational sideboard plan. So we'll see. Fingers crossed that this is going to work in our favor. Uh, all right. We got the all removal hand, but I guess that's fine. The one thing I wonder is if this deck wants more, more card draw. We have two Obnixiluses. I wonder if we just want more ways to draw cards. <laughs> All right. Grasp to the bottom. So our opponent's hand is completely blank, and it looks like they took out removal, most likely. So now uh, Gifted Aetherborn beats. There's a Gonti that we need lands for. Gotcha. <laughs> it was a trick. It was a trick. <laughs> oh... Bone it. We do need lands. We can't cast anything until we draw at least one or two more lands. <laughs> uh, I love when transformational sideboards work. Come on. Come on, land. Land, land, land. Well, more gifted Aetherborns. I guess we just keep doing that. Why our opponent's negates for the curses that we sided out are in their hand. <laughs> and then game three, our opponent won't know what to do. We could potentially go back on the curse plan. There's an ether hub for our opponent. Come on, land, land. We need a land. All right, there's a land. That's good. Go attacking. Watch this just work. <laughs> just beat down with gifted ether boards and win. Um, do we even doomfall? I mean, I guess we do. Well, no. I think we don't. Let's pass. The problem with doomfalling is if our opponent has like bristling hider or something. They just counter the Doomfall, then play it. If we wait, then they play Bristling Hydra, don't have Negate Mana up, and we Doomfall the Hydra. So I think it's better to just wait here. We're also up to 26. Opponent has Obnixilis. That's fine. Can kill a Gifted Aetherborn, but then we can never it. Oh, they just draw? Oh, that's fine too. So 5 mana cycling, and lose a life. We will take this opportunity, actually... Let's play Deadlands, kill Obnixilis, hit our opponent, down to nine. Watch these two Aetherborns just get there. <laughs> oh, that would be the best. Is this another Obnixilis? Six mana. Oh, all right, they still have Gear Hulk. Yep, there goes a Gifted Aetherborn. I'll get rid of the Gear Hulk. Get in with Gifted Aetherborn. 32 to 10. <laughs> Phonet plays Lumbering Falls. Uh, Nissa is a bit obnoxious here. The only good news is we're at 32. Yep, full on Nissa. Spins the wheel of happy good times. Gets a forest. And let's just have Nixilis. Draw a card. Hit Nissa. And pass the turn. Next turn, if we find a land, we can lay bare the heart plus Gonti. That would be a pretty good turn. It feels like our transformational sideboard plan is actually working. I mean, our opponent did still have Noxious Gear Hulk, but they probably just need that as a finisher. Servant. Yup. That's not too problematic. And then Lumbering Falls are Obnixilis, probably. Oh, Bounty. Bounty is annoying. I wish our opponent didn't draw that. Desert. Well, take up Obnixilis. Play Lady, bear the heart. Opponent spends their negate. 
Now let's attack Nyssa. Play Amid Eternal. Play Desert. Pass the turn. So our opponent does get an extra draw from Bounty. But if they don't have removal, our creatures are going to be pretty good. Yep, Scry's with Nyssa. Bottoms both. Another Servant. Trims down our Ammon Eternal a bit. Oh, opponent did leave in some removal, apparently. Kills Ammon Eternal. Yup. And then probably hits up Nixilis. Yeah, hits up Nixilis. Well, let's see what we draw. Another Doomfall. Well, draw without Nixilis. More Deserts. Hit Nissa. Play Gonti. Come on, something good. Bristling Hydra or Negate. Both seem pretty reasonable. Bristling Hydra is a pretty good finisher. I think we're going to take Negate, though. And we'll pass and cycle this desert, I think. So opponent gets extra mana. One thing that would be bad is if our opponent had Ulamog. Ulamog would give us a very hard time here. I don't know if they'd actually have that. I'm kind of assuming they just brought in Bounty because it seemed good against the Curses, the card advantage plan, and that they're not actually a ramp deck. It's just like one of their control sideboard cards. Hopefully that's the case. If they are trying to ramp into Ulamog, things could get sketchy. If we... Yeah. If we can get Nissa off the table, we'll feel a little bit happier. Opponent. I'm going to cast something. They left both cards on top with Nissa as well. Lost Legacy. Uh... Sure? I think? I mean, they obviously brought that in to deal with the curses, but they're not in our deck. Can we get a whiff? Oh man, that would be spectacular. Our opponent didn't see that much of our deck. They might not realize that we sideboarded them out. Come on. Come on. Curse. Name it. Torment of Scarabs. Do it. Do it. Or they name something that they've seen this game to try to avoid the problem. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> we got him! We got him! They named Torment! <laughs> Oh, they're not in the deck anymore. Oh, man. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> oh, that might be my favorite. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We got gotcha. you. We got gotcha. you. Oh, that was, that was good. Wow, they also had to drain their energy because they're casting double black spells off ether hubs. Lumbering Falls, okay. Is this a big attack at Obnixilis? Well, this is fine. Swinging with the crew, this means we should get to kill Nyssa and still have a Obnixilis. Block Servant, Gonti lives. Now I think we're actually not going to cycle. We draw a Grasp, so draw a card with Obnixilis. I wanted to leave up the Negate there rather than cycling. Hmm. Well, we're going to kill Nyssa. I think the end result is that we're going to lose, most likely, our Abnixilis, which isn't ideal. Let's Doomfall. Actually, you know what? Hmm. They left two cards on top. We'd love to keep Abnixilis alive. I think we're going to focus on keeping Abnixilis alive. Let's Exile in the Gate, make a zombie. I think we're going to go ahead and play the desert, pass to the turn. So depending on what our opponent has on top of their deck, we might be able to get out of this by chumping and killing Servant. Maybe we should have just played the desert the turn before. A tune. Uh, not sure why our opponent would leave that on top of their deck. I guess it gets some more energy. Plays a Swamp. The Scarab God. Okay. That's actually pretty fine. Opponent. All right, so we Fatal Push Servant. Opponent's going to activate Scarab God, probably get Rogue Refiner. Which is fine, because then we just grasp Doomfall, the Scarab God, and essentially just win the game. Our opponent won't be literally dead, but they'll be at four with only a Lumbering Falls, and we got rid of a God forever. This transformational sideboard plan has been awesome. So good. So, Servant down. 
We draw a card. Another desert. So we'll start with Grasp Rogue Refiner. Exile Scarab God. Hit our opponent. Hit our opponent. I think we just hit for four and leave back Ganti to block Lumbering Falls. Because we would actually like our Obnixilis to live. And we'll pass. Oh man, this is this is working almost perfectly. So opponent gets some mana from the bounty. Another attune. Uh-huh. Sure. I almost feel like we just want more Obnixilis. It feels like we really want this effect on the battlefield a lot. I guess it's bad against aggro, but... There's a real risk of just casting a bunch of discard and removal and running out of cards, and Obnixilis does a great job of solving that. <sighs> All right, no cycle. Leave up negate. Take up Obnixilis. Evolving Wilds. Now let's do the hand check, Doomfall. Opponent negates. Sure. We will go attacking. Leave back the Zombie. These both have Death Touch, so they kill Lumbering Falls if our opponent blocks. If we attack with the zombie, they clearly block that one. Alright. Goes for Gifted Aetherborn. Play Evolving Wilds. And we're going to pass. Leave up Cycle. Leave up Negate. I think that's more important than Ammon Eternal here. Our opponent needs something, or they just die to our janky board. And our post scoops it up! <laughs> Oh man, that was that was a thing of beauty. Game one, <laughs> game one, we just slammed two of our curses in one instantly. Game two, we took out all of them. We had our opponent not only take out almost all the removal, but they were lost legacy baby torment of scarabs. That was uh, exactly how this deck drew it up. Exactly. Uh, does it does it get any better than that for curse control? Thanks for watching the video! If you enjoyed it, take a second and click that like button down below. It's a great way to help support the channel for free. And you can find the next video in the playlist right here.